Now, let us discuss about a C program in order to implement varashti fit algorithm. We know that varashti fit is a memory allocation algorithm which is used in contiguous memory allocation techniques such as MFT and MVT. First, let us see the output and then we will see the program as well as execution. So, enter number of blocks. Uh, so, here the block can also be called as a partition or hole also. Hole also. So, here we have three blocks. Enter number of processes. We have two processes. Next, we have to enter the size of the blocks. Let the size of the first block is 5. Size of the second block is 2. Size of the third block is 7. It may be either in KBs or MBs. Enter the sizes of the process. Let the size of the first process is 1 KB. Size of the second process is 4 KB. So here we have to use the varashti fit algorithm. What is varashti fit algorithm? Allocate the largest hole that is big enough. Here if you take the first process, the size is 1. We can store the first process in all the three blocks. So, out of all the three blocks, which is the largest block? Third block is the largest block. Why? Because third block size is 7. So, now, first process is stored in third block. If you see here, process number is 1. That size is 1. It is stored in third block. What is the third block size? 7. So, if you store here, then the internal fragmentation is, here the block size is 7, but the process size is only 1. So, 7 minus 1 means 6. So, 6 is the internal fragmentation. Next, we have 4. Next, we have 4. We can't store 4 in second block. Next, already third block is occupied. So, here only we have only one block that is first block. So, here the second process is stored in the first block. So, if we store here, then the fragmentation is 1. So, for that, let us see the first program and then we will see the execution. Uh, so, here uh, uh, has defined max 25. So, totally we can use 25 processes. Uh, let us uh, see the main function here. Uh, frag of max. Here we are using frag array for uh, calculating the internal fragmentation. Next, b of max means the size of the each block. The size of the each block. So, maximum here we have 25 processes. So, out of 25 processes, in this example, we have only two processes. In our example, we have two processes. Okay. Next, P of max. Uh, yeah, in our example, we have three blocks and we have two processes. So, P stands for process. So, P of max. So, totally we can use 25. I say are nothing but loop variables. NP for number of blocks. NP for number of processes. Temp and highest are for calculating the Worst block, highest block. The initial value of the highest is minimum integer value that is 0. Next, we have taken two static integer arrays. The first array is BF and the second array is FF. The major difference between a local variable and static variable is here this is a static variable. Whereas, if we don't use any storage class like static or auto or register or extend it will become local variable so here the major difference is the default initial value of the static variable is 0 so in bf of 0 0 will be stored in bf of 1 1 will be stored in bf of 2 i am sorry in all the array elements 0 will be stored so likewise in ff also in all the array elements 0 will be stored okay Zero will in order to store uh, in order to store zero here. We declared these two arrays as static. Okay, here uh, initially BF of zero is zero, BF of one is zero, BF of two is zero. That zero specifies that uh, that block is not occupied. Suppose if that block is occupied, then it is filled by one. So that means that zero will be replaced with one. So first let's see the input. Enter number of blocks. So, the variable is NB, number of blocks. Enter number of processes. The variable is NP. Next, we have to read the size of, uh, of all the blocks. So, for I equal to 1, I less than or equal to NP. If we want, we can start from 0 
and then continue up to less than nb it is your choice so block first what will happen block 1 will be printed block 2 block 3 so next scan of percentage d comma m percent b of i next we have to read the sizes of the processes so for the processes np scan of percentage d comma m percent p of i now let us see the logic here here the outermost for loop is for process repetition whereas innermost for loop is for block repetition so here we have to take a process uh, let that process size is 30 kb uh, and then what will happen is let we have three blocks so now we have to check that process will be stored in which block okay now let us see the logic here here outermost variable is i i i means process where process number whereas innermost value is j that is nothing but block number if we see the logic here if bf of j not equal to 1 so initially all the values bf of 0 bf of 1 bf of 2 all the values contains 0 only 0 only so that 0 specifies that that block is not occupied so if you see here yeah if you see here uh, initially initially bf of 0 bf of 1 bf of 2 bf of 3 so all the values are zeros only okay zeros only so if you see here what is the condition 0 is not equal to 1 yes condition is true initially what is j value initially what is j value j value is 1 so 1 is not equal to 1 1 is not equal to 1 i'm sorry initially what is j value initially j value is 1 what is bf of 1 we know that that bf is declared as static integer array so static integer array if you see here if you see here so that is static integer array so static integer means bf of 0 bf of 1 bf of 2 all the values will be zeros only all the values will be zeros only so that means here the value is 0 so 0 is not equal to 1 condition is true uh, now let us see the logic here let us assume that the size of the process is 30 kb so what is the size of the process assumes that size of the process is 30 uh, let we have three blocks let the size of the first block is 50 size of the second block is 40 size of the third block is 60 so here we have three blocks here if you see here we can store this process in first block second block as well as third block in all the three blocks why because 50 is greater than 30 40 is greater than 30 60 is greater than 30 but here which fra but here which algorithm we are using worst fit algorithm what is worst fit algorithm allocate the largest hole that is big enough so out of 50 40 60 which is the largest value 60 is the largest value so we have to store the process in the third block so for that purpose let's see the logic temp equal to b of, temp equal to b of j minus p of i so here what is temp value if you see here here what is temp value let us calculate here what is b of j j value is 1 so b of 1 minus p of 1 so that means we are calculating the difference between the first block and the process so 50 minus 30 means 20 so temp value is 20 next here every time what we are doing is we we have to calculate the difference between the block and the process if, if you see the first one so block one and process difference is 30 so first 30 will be stored next if you see here 40 30 what is the difference 10 if you then if you see the next difference 60 minus 30 so 30 so 30 that 30 is the largest value so that's why we have to store in the b3 third block so let's see that logic so initially we are calculating the difference between b1 and the process so temp is greater than or equal to 0 yes what is temp value 20 20 is greater than or equal to 0 yes condition is true next we have to calculate the uh, we have to we have to calculate the no, highest value okay what is the initial value of the highest the initial value of the highest is the minimum integer value that is 0 so 0 is less than temp 0 is less than temp so what 0 is less than temp what is highest value 0 so 0 is less than temp so condition is true or false 0 is less than temp means condition is true so that means out of 20 and 0 
20 is the largest value. So that means we have to store our process in the first fragment. So let's see here. Uh, so what is the highest value now? Highest value is uh, 0. So that 0 is uh, less than temp. Yes, condition is true. Uh, next, uh, f of i. What is i value? 1. f of 1 equal to f of 1 equal to what is a value? If you see here, what is a value? What is a value? So in the first iteration, what is a value? The block number is 1. So f of 1 equal to 1. So that means we are storing the process in the first block. In the first block. Next, next, what is the next statement? Highest equal to temp. Highest equal to temp. Now out of 0 and uh, uh, what is temp value? 20. So that is internal fragmentation value. So if we store uh, uh, the process in the first block, then 20 is the internal fragmentation. Highest equal to temp. So that is over. So now once again control goes to the J loop. Now J value will become 2. J value will become 2. So if you see here, if BF of 2 not equal to 1. Yes, initially all the values are 0 only. So 0 not equal to 1. Yes, condition is true. Next, we have to calculate the difference. Temp equal to B of J minus P of I. Now what is J value? 2. So what is B2? What is B of 2? 40. So now we need to calculate the difference between that second block and the process. So 40 minus 30 means 10. So 40 minus 30 means 10. Now let's check the condition. The temp value should be greater than or equal to 0. What is temp value? Yes, it is greater than or equal to 0. Very good. But now let's check the next condition. If highest is less than temp, what is highest value? 20. What is temp value? 10. So 20 is less than 10. Condition is false. Now there is no need to store the that process in the second block. Why? Because we are using the worst fit algorithm. The first block is worst. The, that first block has largest size. So there is no need to store the process in the second block. So if condition is false, so nothing will get executed. Next J will become 3. J will become 3. If BF of 3 not equal to 1, as condition is true. Initially that static array contains 0. So now we need to calculate the difference between the third block and the process. So temp equal to B of J. So what is B of 3? 60. So 60 minus 30 means 30. 30. Next, next, if temp greater than or equal to 0, yes, condition is true. If highest is less than temp, what is highest value? 20. What is temp value? 30. So 20 is less than 30, yes, condition is true. So that means the third block is the largest value. It will give more, uh, more external fragmentation. It is the largest block. So we have to store the process in this in this block. So f of one equal to f of one equal to what is a value three. So that means we have to store the first we have to store the corresponding process first process in which block third block. So that is the meaning here. F of one equal to three means store the first process in the third block. Okay. Next highest equal to temp. So what is temp value now thirty. So that means here the internal fragmentation is 30. If you see here, what is the process size? 30. Out of 50, 40, 60, which is the largest block? 60. So that process will be stored in the third block. So the fragmentation is 60 minus 30. That is 30. So what is f of 1? 3 here. So next, let us see the next logic. If you see here, frag of, frag of. So this is for internal fragmentation, okay? Frag of, frag of, frag of 1. In the first iteration, what is i value? 1 only. Uh, that i value represent process number. Here i value is 1, whereas j is internal. So j is innermost loop. So it is repeated for 1, 2, 3 likewise. So frag of 1 equal to what is highest? 30. So that means the first process internal fragmentation is 30. Next statement BF of BF of what is F of BF of F of I equal to 1. What is F of F of I? F of I means F of 1. What is F of 1? 3. So BF of 3 equal to 1. So it means we have to store 1 in the third block. Why? Because that 1 
that process is stored in which block that process is stored in the third block that process is stored in the third block so that's why we have to store one there so if you see here in the in the next iteration in the next iteration bf of 3 what is bf of 3 if you see here what is bf of 3 1 so 1 not equal to 1 so that the body won't be executed so this is the logic here so frag of i equal to 0 means it will stores the uh, that uh, fragmented internal fragmentation value so bf of f of i equal to 1 means so in uh, that process is stored in which block so we need to store one there we need to store one there so zero specifies that that block is free whereas one specifies that the block is occupied next we have to we have to search for the second process we need to store second process in which block so that's why we have to assign zero to the highest okay Next, if you see here, we have to display process number, process size, uh, and then block number, block size, and the internal fragmentation value. So, this i is nothing but process number, p of i is nothing but process size. Next, block number, f of i is nothing but block number, f of i is nothing but block number. Whereas, before that one, if you use b, so b of f of i is nothing but that block size. So, b of 0 means block size of the 0, b of 1 means first block size likewise. Next for internal fragmentation. Okay, so this is the program. Uh, now let's see the execution. Uh, I will share the program uh, code in the first comment. I will ping that comment. So please go through that comment. Okay. Uh, so already this program is executed. Enter number of blocks three. Enter number of processes two. Enter the sizes of the blocks five to seven. Enter the sizes of the processes one four. So if we store here the first process, the first process size is one. So here the first process can be stored in all the three blocks. So which is the largest block? Third block, seven. So third block. So what is the size? Seven is the size. If we store here, seven minus one means six is the internal fragmentation. Next, if you see here, second process size is four. Second process uh, size is four. Uh, but this third block is already occupied. We can't store uh, this second process in second block. So it is. We, we can store only in the first block. So if you store 1 KB in 5 KB, then uh, if you, what is the process size here? 4. If you store 4 KB in 5 KB, then 1 KB is the fragmentation. So this is about uh, Varastifit uh, C program.